Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. In the previous episode we infiltrated the Hag's Lair and we are now heading down a, uh, a fairly dangerous path. We're currently pursuing the Hag and yeah, in this next room that we're looking at right here, we, uh, I'm pretty sure this is where it's going to happen, where it's going to go down. Um, the girl that we're trying to save is in this cage currently. And so yeah, let's, uh, let's move forward. Um, I did heal up just a tiny bit. Um, I used the aid, uh, spell thingy I get from one of my items or something on Traegar, so he has five more health than usual. Time to press ahead. Uh, we're pretty low on heals Time overall. For an ambush. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide what the best way to approach this will be. I don't even know how to get her free from there. Yeah, let's head off to the right here. There. In the cage. A sylvan stone. Maybe I need more pockets. I wonder where that door leads to. Recipe unlocked, okay. Oh, oh, I see that. That's a uh, control orb. Hopefully that doesn't mean that <laughs> this thing is just gonna drop her. On my way. Oh, oh, there she is. You want the girl so bad. Ooh. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, this might just be the end, honestly. She's going to drop. We've got to help her. Probably getting to her first is probably going to be our priority. Um, Traegar is closer. But it's her turn before that. So she might take fire damage. I'm assuming interacting with that is going to be um, an action though. Oh, surprisingly not. Okay. Uh, we activated it, but it didn't do anything. It might do something um, on somebody else's turn. I have no idea. Oops. Yeah, we can't do much. I'm assuming these are just mirror images or something of the sort. So they might just have one HP. They can still each cast though, which is really scary. Alright. We'll go for an Eldritch 35%? Really? Hmm. Could go for the acid damage. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more like guaranteed. She is standing in acid now. Okay. Focus. Um, I need to save all of my healing spells for for this fight. I think for her, basically all I want to do is just maybe firebolt. Okay. Uh, do we still have... We don't have Shield of Faith up. It is a level 1 spell slot, though. Yeah. I only have 5 health. I don't know if that's worth it. Alright. So what happens on her turn? Literally nothing. We lowered it, but... 
Maybe it's a lair action and it'll happen at the beginning. Something like that. I don't I don't really know. Oh, something I didn't realize is uh, she just disappeared. Yeah, we'll go for a ranged attack here. Nice. Okay, good. Okay. Um, can't quite move there. Can we get him from here? Yeah, we can. Okay. Oh. Oh, that was her. <laughs> what a way to end that encounter. <laughs> uh, that was what funny. You break? That was a pretty good end. All right. I was super wor worried about this fight. Oh, uh, that you could have ended busted. bad. You ruined it. You ruined what? everything. Ruined what? Slow down. What did I do? Is she trying to become a hag? Um, I'm sorry, I was trying to help. This is an interesting way of thanking me. I don't need this. Uh, what did I do? Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Oh. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! Lady, she wasn't gonna bring him back. Uh, because of Auntie Ethel, you nearly died. Don't be naive. A hag was never gonna help you. Hags don't work for free. What did you promise her? Are you done whining yet? Yeah, hags don't work for free. What did you promise her? This. Just this. a bit longer and my child oh. would have been born. And all this, all this would have been over. You were going to trade your baby for your dead husband? With hags, nothing is ever over. A life for a life, you must really love your husband. No, yeah, with Hags, nothing is ever over. This was the best chance I had. For me, I'm my baby. Dude, she was gonna eat and your baby. And promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic, even. No, she was gonna eat it. More than or I use it in a sacrifice. Is that what Ethel told you? Don't sell yourself short. You can raise this child. From what I've seen, you'd make a terrible mother. You should have known better. Hags don't help anyone but themselves. Don't sell yourself short. You can raise this child. I always wanted to be a mother. I just never thought I'd do it alone. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit of a sad ending to that, but... I mean, I feel like nothing ever ends happily in this game. Um, where does this wooden door lead to? I'll give it a shot. Give it a shot. Um, nowhere? Here we go. Ooh, some sort of... Sacrifice room? Um... Mushroom circle. Acrid workshop. Some letters here. Blotches of ink are splattered upon this unfinished letter, written in an uneven scrawl. Dearest sister, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't worry. Uh, I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not, my redcaps nabbed the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll die regretting he crossed a hag. A mother with a failing mind? You know me so well. I have the most darling masked for her. You must come to viz. Okay. This letter is written in elegant cursive. Apple. I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along the Chianthar and have ensured he will pass through your territory. Do as you wish with him. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. 
Her mother's mind is failing. My contacts have assured her you can help. I'll have her sent by the usual route. M. Interesting. What's hiding here? So she was working together with somebody in Baldur's Gate. Ooh. Kind of rings in here. Um, Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Gain an additional level one spell slot. Cool. That'll be really good for Shadowheart. Alright, let's, uh, I guess this is a way out. Do we trust it? I guess we trust it. Alright, oh, this was actually probably the thing that we, uh, that the door was trying to, uh, tell us. Alright, we, uh, I think we need to go to camp, honestly. <laughs> we are really, really rough right now. I should have saved one short rest for, before that encounter, but... I wasn't exactly sure how it would work out. Okay. Anybody feel like talking tonight? No, probably not. Shadow Heart? No. Cool. Let's uh let's get some rest. Oh, don't go 80. I don't know why it does that. There we go. Cool. Leave camp. We're all rested up. Can we leave camp? I hear crying. Oh. Very well. Gods! Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. Are you alright? You could just leave him here. Whining won't get you there any faster. Uh, stand with her in silence. Yeah, I think I'll just stand with her in silence. We were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. Are you alright? Not even a little bit. But I will be. Uh, whining won't get you there any faster. I think I'll just leave her to mourn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you back. Hmm. All right, uh, let's see what is over this way. Ooh. Hopefully the, uh, hopefully this place isn't like super trapped. Let's see, what is that? Search the lair for the, w for a way oh, to help her. Aw. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's a little weird. We can explore our options, I guess. I really don't want her to reanimate her husband. That feels wrong, you know. Uh, back here and up. I already searched this chest. Staff of Crones. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Uncommon. I don't know, would that even help? No, probably not. Um, 
Looks like there's something here, but up. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe over here. Potion of speed. The ever seen eye. Okay, I didn't even realize there was a bunch of items here. The bitter divorce. The ever seen eye. Protection from evil and good. Okay. Yeah, that might be one that I just give to Gale. Bitter divorce. Clumps of hair and flesh stick out from the twisted roots that make up the shaft of this wand. Connor is scratched into the surface. I believe that was the name of her husband. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and there was a note, by the way. Uh, I don't know where it went, though. All right. Oh, I think actually... Maybe it was Carlac, actually. Well that ends. Not as bad yeah, as here we go. Read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend, she is not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies is written in large, thick letters across the rest of the text. Interesting. All right. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment indeed. I am kind of curious on what happens if you put on the masks after she's dead now. Oh, I wonder if there's... I wonder if it, there's still magic in it, or what happens. Hey, I might have found something that can help you. What? I found a wand? I think I can resurrect your husband. Uh, this feels like cheating, but yeah. What? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! Point the wand towards the coffin. Snap the wand in two. Uh, I kind of want to do number two, honestly. Uh, but yeah, point the wand towards the coffin. Oh yeah, he's no, he's definitely just a zombie. What? What's happening? Why is he still dead? You feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. <laughs> Oh, the creature's bound to this wand. How useful. So the hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? Hold on, maybe it's not permanent? No. So the so the hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? But this isn't what she promised! It's exactly I what she... him back! Back the way he was! Not this! You probably said, I want him back alive. And this is kind of alive this is your husband do you want him or not don't worry i have the wand i'll make use of him we can always bury him again kill the undead abomination this is your husband do you want him or not connor connor <sighs> i don't even know if he's in there but he might be and if he is i'll find him and bring him back here's the wand good luck to you and connor Thanks, but we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle, more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember? And thank you, I guess. Come on, love. Let's go. Perhaps using Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. Yeah. Uh, no turning back time now. Yeah. I mean, 
I knew it wouldn't turn out well, but I mean, it's what she wanted, so I helped her in whatever way I could. Also, why doesn't she just get a scroll of through uh, resurrection or something? Uh, can we go through here? Oh, we might not be able to. Oh yeah, it just kind of ends over here. I feel like if she really cared, she wouldn't make a deal with a hag. She would just try to resurrect him in like a more holy way, I guess. Maybe finding a cleric. Oh, this way is locked. All right. Um, I'll probably have to go. Uh, no, I don't want to go all the way through. Do we have thieves tools? Oh, we can. Right click, open. Uh, lockpick. No, don't give me trouble now. I do keep forgetting that I can just right click things instead of going into the inventory and uh, doing it. Nice. I didn't see what we rolled because I accidentally clicked it. Oh, the th wait. Interesting. I wonder if that consumed it. All right, so that is pretty much this area done as far as I can tell. There is more down here that I haven't explored yet, so I do want to go down there. Um, oh right, that's where the transportation thing is. Right, this just kind of leads around. Um, oh, I was trying to get up here, actually. Survival failed. wonder if there's a buried treasure chest out here. Yep. What do we got here? Nightlight frond. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, we can probably take this path all the way back here, maybe? There does seem to be a path right here. So yeah, there's an entire area right here that we have not explored. And a lot up here, too. I don't know if there's anything in this area, though. Um, I do want to take a step back and go back that way, though. One thing I kind of wish about this game was the ability to click on the map uh, to go somewhere. Oh, there's a person up here. I should speak up. Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Blood? Powdered iron vine. Ah. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Uh, who are you? I prefer a weapon to a stench, thanks. You're a monster hunter? Not what I imagined. Uh, whatever you're hunting, your stench alone will kill it. Uh, who are you? Today? The same as you. A humble supplicant. Come to bargain with the lady of this house. Though, perhaps I speak too swiftly. You have an odor of your own, or the stench of fey blood. You've already met the hag, then. I have. She didn't survive the encounter. Truly? I won't mourn her passing. Though I hoped she would help me on my hunt. I can wait. You, on the other hand, should already be running. A coven will hear of this. They'll stop plotting to kill one another just long enough to focus all that energy on you. Ooh. Okay. Um, I didn't think about that. Uh, who is it that you're hunting? Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it. Or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. Interesting. 
Persuasion, maybe I can help with your hunt. Intimidation, your coyness is getting boring, tell me. Yeah, maybe I can help with the hunt. Right, get a little bit of guidance. Oh, it's a 15, okay. Oh, easy. No, this duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarion. Oh. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Never heard of him. I can't swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? We've met. He's not the type to come quietly. You can give up your hunt. Asterion's under my protection. Uh, what does your tribe want with a creature like that? Yeah. My people were recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. In the chaos of battle, one of them stole away with our children. We've been searching for them ever since. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. If captured, my people will make him talk. So I ask again, is he known to you? We've met. He's not the type to come quietly. Um, you can give up your hunt. Asterion's under my protection. Yeah, he's under my protection. You can 1v1 me if you want. I'm not going to give him up. I see. Your loyalty is admirable, but misplaced. His kind have charm beyond our mortal means to resist. I can show you who he truly is. If you will just tell me where to find him. Tell him how to find your camp. I honestly don't know where he is. I'm not going to help you find him. Back off. Well, I don't know. If he knows where some missing children are, I can understand... I understand where this guy's coming from. Do I want him in my camp? Not really. Do I want him potentially threatening Asterion? Not really. Is it going to be more interesting if I do tell him? Yeah, so I'm going to tell him. A wise decision. I will do my work. And for what it's worth, I will take no pleasure yeah, in it. That was stupid. Well, you did it. But I'm not totally sure it was right. He was our leech. Oh, that's not what I meant. Alright, we're going to go to camp and see if he's there. Hopefully Asterion isn't just dead. Hey Asterion, you got some vampire hunter coming after you. Yes. Uh, I met a monster hunter in the swamp. He was looking for you. What? Who? What happened? He wanted to capture you and bring you back to Baldur's Gate. He was a gur named Gandril. You're safe now. Tell me why you have a hunter on your tail. Uh, he wanted to capture you and bring you back to Baldur's Gate. Back to Baldur's Gate? Back to Kazador. There's no other reason he'd want me alive. Who is Kazador, exactly? The hunter was a gur. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, yeah. Does that mean anything to you? <laughs> of course he'd send a gur to hunt me down. First, they make... Excellent monster hunters, so find a vampire spawn sounds perfectly reasonable to them. Second, they're the reason I'm like this in the first place. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Kazador not appeared and saved me. Hmm. Saved you by turning you into a vampire slave? You can't hold every Gur responsible for what happened to you, so why send one after you now to remind you of that night? Uh, he appeared just when you needed him. Sounds convenient. Uh, saved you by turning you into a vampire slave? Well, he didn't mention the slave clause at the time. And now he sends a Gur monster hunter for me. It's a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. 
But why capture you? Why not just kill you? Don't worry, you're safe with me. How concerned should we be? Yeah, how concerned should we be? We just have to be vigilant. Keep our wits about us. And kill any monster hunters on sight. We can probably make an exception for Will. Probably. Alright. Yeah, I definitely should not have told him how to get into my camp. Um, I kind of thought that he would be here, though, when we came. Oh, look, Scratch has something to say. Dog pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth. Aww. Wrestle the ball from him. Distract him with one hand and slip the ball from his jaw. Encourage him to drop the ball. Uh, We'll go animal handling on this one. Do we really need guidance? Well, I guess we already have it, so... I guess we did need guidance. He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. His eyes track the ball avidly. He shuffles on his paws, ready to chase after it. Uh, why can't I throw it? Pet him. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Alright. Uh, Scratch's ball. Bro? Will he go find it? Looks like he's trying to. Yep. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, thank you. Go get it, boy. I think I'm just going to do this for the next, uh, hour <laughs> all right um gail you're looking a little hungry my condition likes being ignored as little as i do i must consume another artifact and soon all right i think i have one for you ever seen i Color spray. Honestly, I might give him the color spray one for now. Thank you. Also, why is he no longer wearing clothes? <laughs> Good gods. I don't know what to make of this. Three artifacts is a positive glut of magic. And my hunger only grows. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Oh. Go on, you're among friends. There's no need. I trust you, Gail. This better be good. No, uh, go on, you're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Hmm. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time she became my muse. And later even my lover. Oh, interesting. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. If 
How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? Uh, you thought you knew better than Mistra? You're more of a fool than I thought. Um, how exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? I'm intrigued. Uh, tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured and shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms, until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess. What was the answer to that question? I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether then? So your grand plan was akin to emptying a cup of water in the sea. Brilliant. Uh, what was the answer to the question? The answer was to try. The outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power draped in romance would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry? Yank your hand away. How are you still alive? Gods, why show me this? All this time, I've been traveling with a monster. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however, Go on. You will die. I don't think I want to hear this. You'll die, right? Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. Is there nothing we can do? 
I trusted you, Gail. You should have told me right away. Unbelievable. Did you ever think uh, what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? <laughs> By rights, I should kill you. Is there anything we can do? My chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. We've come this far together, and we'll continue on together. That is how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Couldn't have uh, put it better myself. All right, I think that's where we're going to end things for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.